and I'm just glad. Yeah. Every time Jeff tried to creep, and God was right there by my side. Yes, sir. He made Jeff leave me alone. Y'all got quiet then. Mm -hmm. Amen. Building fund, tithes, offering. Now, we want you to come. Bring it, he says. Bring it. I'm going to start the offering off with $5. I want somebody to bring it. Amen. Y'all match me. It ain't going to me. It's going to the church. Amen. Amen. It's been a long, long journey. But my Jesus has been by my side. Singing is a long in this house. Yes, Father, there's some that are wounded in spirit now. 
Pray, oh God, that thou would come in and lift up their bow down heads. But we know to be absent in their bodies to be present with you. Pray, oh God, that you would touch the Harris family. The old father let them know that they got too got to go the same way that Nan has. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you would strengthen them. Prop them up on every leaning side, we pray. Amen. 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 Those of you that have your school, go with me for three moments. Let's go to the New Testament, John three sixteen. Send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And the church say amen. Amen. You may be saved. I'm not going to hold you long. I know some of you will have heavy hearts. But I want to say a word to the believers. How much do you love the Lord? How much do you love God? Hello? Ask yourself that. Examine your heart. Let it rest heavy in your heart. How much do we love Him? For the scriptures have said that God so loved the word that he gave his son hello his only begotten son that whosoever believe him in him shall not perish but have everlasting life how many believers do we have first of all how many of you believe what the word says. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. How many of you believe what the Bible says? Amen. That means if God said it, it's coming to pass. Amen. God is not human. Hello? He's a spirit. He's not like you and I. If God said it's going to come to pass. Because he's, he's God. He created the heavens and the earth. And not only that, he, 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 he created you and I in his image. Yes. That's why Job said that a man that's born of a woman in a few days is going to have some trouble. All of us going to go through some trouble. That had some troubles. And before you leave here, you still going to have trouble. Some of you have waking up and find that you still got trouble. You had trouble last night, you got trouble today. But you just remember that God loved us more than we love him. All right. huh? right. All right. I want you to understand this. That God gave his best. Mm -hmm. And how many of you know his best? Well, who was his best? His son. His son. He gave his son for you and I. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. That when we pass on, Mother, we got a resting place. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. We got a resting place. That's right. The believer got somewhere to lay his head. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's in the bosom of the Lord. I wish I had some help here. Yeah. Yeah. If you believe 
that God raised his son from the dead, ye shall be what? Saved. I weep for the ones that are living. I don't weep for the dead. Pray that they had their soul right. They had it right with God. Remember in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah went and told Hezekiah. He said, Hezekiah, set your house in order. Did he not? Yes. He said, set your house in order. I'm saying to the church, those of you that are here on the side of my board, set your house in order. Because yeah. he's going to come. You don't know the day nor the hour that death will find you. Yeah. I don't care how old or how young you be. You better have a relationship with the Lord. Hello? That's right. You got to know Jesus in the pardon of your sin. Yes. He told Hezekiah, get it in order. Because you're finna die. Hezekiah didn't accept what Isaiah said. He did something, didn't he? What did he do? Did say it loud, man. Turn his face to the wall and pray to the Lord. He turned his face toward the wall, to the wall. Looked at the wall and began to pray. Mm -hmm. Begin to remind God how faithful that he has walked before him. Yes. How he had judged his people. He did not treat them bad. Yes. Hello? Amen. Even that God was not his God. But he believed so much that he treated the children of Israel, Judah's children, right. Yes. He reminded God. He reminded him how faithful he had walked before him. What did God do after Hezekiah began to pray to him? God did something. He told Isaiah. Isaiah was headed to the courtyard. What did he told him to do, man? Turn around. Turn around. Come on, church. Give God a hand clap of praise. He told Hezekiah, told Isaiah, go back and tell Hezekiah, yes, yes, I've seen his tears, All right. I've heard his prayer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to add 15 more years right. to his life. Yes. You, can get, you can get a long life. That's right. You can get an extension. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Yeah. You can get an extension because of your service. Yes. I wish I had some help up in here. You can get an extension because of your goodness, because of your kindness, how you treat one another, because you worked and labored in the vineyard for God. God said, I'm going to add 15 more years. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the 10th day, uh -huh. come on. Yes, sir. tell Hezekiah mm -hmm. to come to the house of God, yeah. the temple. And step up on the step. Yeah. And when the sun go down, the shot. Mm -hmm. When you see the shot, right. step up on that step. Yeah. He's going to be what? Restored. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Right. God will give you restoration. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. God so loved man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In spite of all of our wrongdoing, yes. God knows we have done wrong. Yes, sir. We have messed up. Yeah. Some of us gonna mess up when we leave here. Come on, come on. Hello? Hello. We have messed up. But God loved us so much. Yes. I want you to understand God's love is long suffering. Yes. It's patient. Yes. God's thoughts is not like you and mine. It's not like ours. His ways are not like our ways. But God makes no mistake. No mistake. I wish I had some help. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know that Nan was close to all of y'all, but this is the day of the Lord. This is the day you ought to be shouting for joy. If Nan knew the Lord, then you should be giving God the glory because you know she's tearing up again. Come on. Yes, I worry about those that are living. He gave. Somebody say he gave. Yeah. He gave his best. Yes. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. yes. I 
I'll never forget when 1980, February the 28th of 1980, when they checked me out of high school, they come home and see, they talk, have my last conversation with my grandmother. And she was telling me some things that was going on in the family. Mm -hmm. And what she wanted me to make sure she got it got done. Mm -hmm. And one of the things she told me, when I asked her, when she said, I'm going to the league. And I said, well, let me, I'm going to go with you then, wherever you're going. She said, you can't go now. All right. All right. But one day, one day, you'll understand it by and by. Yes, sir. All right. One day you'll come, but you can't go with me now. Can't go with me now. What I'm trying to tell you, lift up your heads. Uh-huh. Oh, ye gates of, of Jerusalem, lift up your heads. Mm -hmm. Don't sit here with sadness in your heart. Come on. Just pray that you make it. That's it. That's it. Hello? Yes. That's right. Come on. You make it. Because all Nan's trials and tribulations is over with now. Come on. Come on. All her debts is over with now. I don't care who tried to collect what. She is gone on. Right. She ain't got to worry about Diana. She ain't got to worry about nothing no more. It's right. over and done. It's over and done. The only thing she got to get ready for is the judgment. Come on. You and I both. Mm -hmm. That's why Jesus came. Why did Christ come to here? Come here? Anybody know? Anybody search this thing out? Why Christ had to come to earth? Huh? Say it, baby. I know you're on TV. Say it. Don't be scared to say it. Say the way. Those that were lost. That's why Christ came. That's right. Seeking to save that which is lost. Did he not say those that are not sick need not a position? That's right. He came to those that are sick. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He came, Deacon Jackson, to save those that needed saving. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And every one of us needs saving. Yeah. Right. Do we need a saving? Yes, the church needs. Yes. Every unrepentant sinner needs a saving. Yes, sir. Yes. Every unrepentant sinner needs the word of God. Yeah. Right. Those of you that are saved, stay saved. Right. I ain't preaching to you. I come to preach to those that the, the son of man. To call a sinner to repentance. Yeah. Huh? That's right. mm -hmm. Christ came. Yeah. That you and I would have a chance, a second chance. Yes. Yes. To eternal life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was over with Nora Day. God said, I'm destroyed it with water. I ain't gonna score it no more with water. I'm gonna score it with what? Fire. All those patriots, all those patriots out there died during Nora Day, during the flood. They didn't have Jesus. Hello? Mm -hmm. Amen. They didn't have Jesus. They only had the prophet. That's right. But you and I got God's best. Come on. Amen. Look at here. You go to the book of Job, you will see where the children of God had to come to present themselves. Satan had to come to. All of them had an appointment. Mm -hmm. Hello? All right. You and I don't have an appointment. We can walk right on in to the right throne of grace of Jesus Christ. We can come boldly. Yes, sir. I'm, a, I'm a walking. I can yes. walk into the kingdom. I can walk boldly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say so. Because I know who died for me. Oh, yeah. That's why the right said, Come unto him that is able to keep us from falling faultless uh -huh. before the throne of grace. Yes. The way said, Come boldly. boldly. I can come on in. I can only yes. afford me to come. All the rest of men, if you go to Job, one, two, and three, you see where all of them had an appointment. Said the day of the Lord, the children of God had to come and present themselves. That was an appointment. Yeah. But you and I don't have that. Because right. we have who? Jesus. Jesus. No man can come to the Father step he come through who? Jesus. No man can come to the Father step he come through who? Jesus. No man can come to the Father step he come through who? Jesus, Jesus Christ. You got to come through God's Son. That's right, that's right. It all begins with God's Son. Right. Why? I'm going to get out of here. I know y'all hearts are heavy. It looks like y'all spirit just done left you. Some come of you on, come, come on, spirit in you. I'm going to have a church, but I see that some of y'all don't want to have church. So I'm going to have church by yeah. myself. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why did he come? Why God 
some. David couldn't do it. Abraham couldn't do it. Come on. Solomon sure couldn't do it. Come on. Isaac, Jacob, they couldn't do it. So who had to make the sacrifice? God's son. And he did it willfully. Huh? Mm -hmm. Book of Revelation says he hung his robe. He, he, he retired his robe, took his robe and hung it. Mm -hmm. Said, Lord, prepare me the body and I'll go down and I'll redeem man. I'll stand on man's bone. I'll stand. Yeah. I'll, be the, I'll be the propetitioner for man. I'll bring man back to you. Yeah. I'll redeem man back yeah. to you. How many of you know you've been bought with a price? Oh, yeah. How many of you know that Christ purchased your salvation? Yeah. 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 How many of you really know that you know, you know, you know it? Don't care who else knows. Don't care if you fall in Georgetown. Know that you know. Yeah. That he purchased your salvation. Yes, yes, yes. If you look in the book of Isaiah, you'll see that, hey, it was 35 times. Isaiah mentioned by salvation. Mm -hmm. He purchased it. Mm -hmm. He paid the price. Yes, mm -hmm. If man would have died and Christ had not come, if man died, you'd have been gone. Oh, yeah. It's been over with. Yeah. Like the children of the day of Noah, it's gone. The old judgment have already been passed. Yeah. Noah told the people, said, get ready, it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. 120 years, he said, it's going to rain. Yeah. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Folk got looking at Noah like he went, no, you done drink, got too drunk on your wine. Man, you been drinking too much wine. Come on. How are you building a ship on land? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you, Noah? God told me to tell you. It's going to rain. Yes, sir. 40 days. 40 nights. What you say? Come on. They didn't believe it when it started raining. Just like some of them folk in Katrina over in New Orleans. Oh, told you, man, it's going to rain. Look at the weather. Or the right people telling you, come on, let's go, y'all. No, we're going to stay around a little longer. That's when they stayed around there. Northern went in the ark and sealed it. God sealed it, not Nora. God sealed it. Nora said, I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. God got the key. That's right. Mm -hmm. Huh? So judgment has already been passed on them. That's the end of the million word. It's already been passed. Yeah. You and I got a chance. Got a chance. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. I went on vacation for two reasons. Mm -hmm. To relax for a moment, but also fast and pray. All right. All right now. Amen. To go a little higher in the high. spiritual ring. That's it. That's it. Yes, sir. And I'm giving it to believe you again. In a three or four more months. Some of you are going to get mad, but I'm going to want to go a little higher. Mm -hmm. And when you're searching out God's scriptures, you got to search. I ain't got time to wait on tables. I ain't got time to be coming and saying, listen to me. This person got this problem. That person got this problem. Because some of you don't know how to let me just study. Mm -hmm. So I have to study in quietness. Mm -hmm. I don't even, I got away from my whole family. Just. I can just be one with God. For God loved man. Why God love man? The angel said, Who is man that God loves him so? Man, a mess up. Man is rebellious. Have a rebellious spirit. You can tell man go right, man or go left. Come on. Who is man that God loves him so? Why do God love man? That's the question I ask. Why God? You know why God loves you? Anybody know? Don't tell me. I know some of you going to say, but the Bible says so. But do you know why God loves you? Anybody in here? I'm teaching now. This is the teaching mode. Anybody in here know why God loves you? Because you're concerned about our souls. That's one reason. Because you were made in his image. That's right. Hello? Hello, that's it. Look at the person sitting next to you. You in the image of God. Amen. Let us make man in our what? Own image. Let us make man in our own image. That means you are in the likeness of God. Amen. You are his crown jewel, the centerpiece of his creation. You're a dead center of it. 
Brother Lawrence, don't let nobody fool you. You are in the sun. You're the sun. That's that. You know that. Some of you ladies know what I'm talking about. You got that piece in the table that it just it don't look right till you get something that make that table look good. And then when you when you put that finally get that piece that bring that piece of furniture out, you say, "Oh man, it's like in the Greek word is telestyle. It means hey, there's nothing else can be done. It is this is perfect." You are in his image. You are the centerpiece of God's creation. Everything God spoke into position in existence. But when it came to you and I, he took time and he formed man, called man, mold man, shaped man. And then he blew in man, nostril man, and came a little soul. Therefore, you are a living being. You are like God. Right. 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 You are in his image. You are the spit image of your father. Yes, sir. Then I begin to ask myself, why do man love God? How much do man love God? Do you love him enough to keep his commandments? I ain't talking about the ten because there's more than ten commandments. It's about 650 of those things. You better say so. I lost some of y'all then. Y'all think it's right. just the ten right up there. That's just the only beginning. That's the beginning of it, yes. You got to go and read. I told you I've been studying in a while. I've been studying for a I took a break just to get, get closer. Why do, how much do we love God? Jesus. I believe it's in the 22nd chapter of Matthew that he told the Pharisees that they in that conversation, they were having a debate. They said, what is the greatest commandment? And he said, to love the Lord thy God with all thy mind, all thy might, all thy spirit, all thy soul. Mm -hmm. But then Jesus said, there's another one like you too. I mean, he said, like that means just as powerful. That's right. Come on now. Just as powerful as it. Come on, right. Huh? And what commandment was that? They got it up there. It's on the wall. Say it like y'all know it. Make sure you get that on tape. The love thy neighbor as thy what? Love thy neighbor as thy what? Thyself. Then there was another commandment that Jesus lived. Mm -hmm. Huh? All right. You know, on the day that he was descending back, after he had stayed around here 40 days, he said, time for me to go. And he told the boy, y'all go wait over there. Where was he told him to wait in Galilee? Jerusalem? He said, y'all go wait in Galilee for me. Y'all wait in the upper room. Just wait there until you've been empowered. With the Holy Ghost, he was descending back. Y'all remember that day? What did he tell him before he got up out of here? He said, this commandment I'm going to leave with you. Love ye one another. This is Jesus. Red writing is Jesus, right? Am I right? right. The red writing is supposed to be Jesus, right? So that means it is Jesus' spoken word. That's right. Amen. Am I right? You're right. Love ye one another as I would. Love ye one another as I. Then First John came over and he reiterated the apostle, the elder. First John said, "A man that loveth not knoweth not who. A man that loveth not knoweth not who. But a man that loveth knoweth who. A man that loveth knoweth God. For God is what? God is what? Tell your neighbor, God is love, and that's what Christ said. That's why God said He loved the world so much. He wasn't talking about Eros love. He was not talking about Ethiopian love. He was talking about the godly love. That love that God has for you and I. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What are talking about? Man, we want to love one another. This is my brother. I want to love my brother in spite of what I mean. Okay, what we disagree on, I love him still. Yes, that's right. Huh? That's what you're supposed to say. Come on. I want to love him because I don't want to see Jesus. I got to love him. Right. Got to. You got to. Huh? Yes, sir. I got to love you. Amen. If the church is imagine, and I'm closing, if the church had love, come on, that's so. What do you mean? What are you trying to allude to, Pastor? It's already set in stone how we're supposed to act, mm -hmm. 
How are we supposed to treat one another? How are we supposed to be concerned about one another? He said, love you one another as I. I love you. Christ loved them. What did he do? He healed our sick. He didn't charge them a dime. He healed the sick. He opened the blind eyes. He raised the dead. Huh? Yes, sir. Somebody. Why did God do it? Why did Jesus do it? Because he loved us. He was showing us the example how we supposed to treat one another is to love one another. Especially those of the household of faith. Especially those of the what? Household of faith. We supposed to love in spite of this is your sister. This is my sister. When she's going through, I'm going through. That's right. Baby. I can't rest because she's going through. This is my, my sister. In spite of what she's going through, I'm going to be concerned about it because simple fact, hey, she's my sister. The Bible tells me that I'm going to be concerned because she's in the same household of faith that I'm in. This is my widow. She's my mother. I'm going to be concerned about what's going on with her because God said so. Yes. The word tells me we're yes. going to look out for one another. Help each other to bear each other. Brothers to bear. Right. You ain't need the government at the church, did they, Paul? Okay. I lost y'all then. I'm going to get on to that. Look at him. I'm going to be in Bible study Wednesday nights. God has worked it out that I could be in Bible study. I ain't have to. You ain't got to say amen. I'm you, I know the God that I serve. God has worked that out that I'm no longer on the night shift right now. I'm on day shift. Come on. All right, now. You're working out. Look at The bottom going to the top, and the top went to the bottom. Yes. I don't know how I got there. I ain't asking no questions. All right. But I'm there. Okay. Seven years of working on night. God said, hey, boy, it's time for you to get in church. The church is falling. They need to, you need to get in church, get in Bible study. They got to be taught. I need you to teach this. Can't nobody else do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move you here because of your faithfulness. I'm going to move you here because you've been faithful a little bit. I'm going to make you roll over me. I'm going to make you the head and not the tail. You're going to be above and not the knee. So, hey, I'm, I'm right where God wants me to be. He loved us. Yes. Do you love him? Yes. Huh? Yes. Do you love him enough? Yes. Do you love him? Yes. That you would do what he said to do? Amen. Just don't say I love the Lord. <laughs> good. It's good you know that you love the Lord, but how can you say you love the Lord whom you've never seen and hate your fellow man that you see daily? <laughs> Huh? All right. How can you tell me you love God and you, you, you hate one another and you despise one another? Jesus said, hey, no man can serve two masters. You either going to love one or hate the other. You either going to love one or despise the other. But you can't serve two. When I was dating, I found out I couldn't do that. I tried to play every... Oh, Lord, I ain't even talk about that. But I was, it messed with my head. Lord, have mercy. You can't do it. You got to love the Lord. He's either God. If God be for us, then you serve God. Huh? But you can't serve God and man too. A mammal. You can't love money. He said the, root of, the love of money is the root of all evil. He said money with evil. He said the love of money is the root of all evil. Look here, that means your greed. You greedy for it. How much do you love him? God has shown you how much he loved you. He gave his son. Took our place. We was guilty of all of this. All of our iniquities. All of our transgressions. We was guilty of it. But Jesus dropped the charges on Calvary. Yes, Come on, somebody. This ain't nothing. The church ought to get on fire. The reason why y'all came to see this is because I know what y'all think about what's going on up on the hill. Uh -huh. But you got to think about you. You got a salvation. You got to work out your own salvation. Yes, Come on, somebody. Do you, you act like you ain't concerned? Yes, I'm concerned. But I got nothing to do with that right now. Come on. I can't bother with that right now. God is already working that out. Yes, 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 yes. Mr. Black should call me. On Friday evening, he said, man, we need you, I need you to get up here before we can go see Sugar Bay. I didn't come. All right, 
I know some of you wondering why. God told me not to go. Amen. He said, it's in my hand. All right. And if God's working, I don't need to get in the field with it. Come on. Oh, I lost y'all again. Right. When God is moving, all right. let God be God. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is just wait for the promise. Because God's will is going to be done. Yeah. When I go to the throne room at night, when I go at 12 o'clock night, I'm going to ask for what you want. I ask God to let his will be done. If it's in his will that you get what you ask for, then it be done unto you. But if it's not God's will, then it's not God's will. It's not that your blessing been denied. It's only been delayed because God is trying to work on you. He's trying to get some stuff out of you in order for you to receive the promises. I didn't come because God said he was working that out. Thing is, you got to work out your salvation. You can call the preachers good to call. Come pray with you all day long. But God's still going to be God. Yeah. Amen. Man, I don't know your time. I don't know how long you got, but God does. Yeah. So I'm not going to try to interfere with that. Come on. Some things you got to pray for yourself. That's right. Amen. Pray. I'm praying for my soul's salvation. Right. Yeah. But what I ask the Lord to do in my life, let your will be done. Yeah. Even in my marriage, I said, Lord, let your will be done. Whatever your will is, let it be done. And help me to accept yeah. what your will is. Yeah. I lost y'all then. Come on. Come on. I told y'all I, so I went to another place now. Well, well. God loved me, but how much do you love God? That's the question. He said, how much do they love me? Come on now. How much do they care about me? How much do they do they praise me when they come into the house of God? Do they worship me? Do they give thanks? Do they give homage? Do they be humble themselves when you come in God's house? Do you come in here with a praise or a testimony in your spirit? Do you come in and just sit and be quiet? Y'all got the wrong concept of church. Come on, yes, sir. So I ain't having church. I come to worship service. And when you all come to worship service, you're going to still see your blessings going to start falling. When praises go up, your blessings coming down. When you worship God, God gives. Lord have mercy. God gives you because you worship Him. You get what you want from God through your worshiping. God get what He wants from you through your praise. Yes, sir. You overcome. Because of your testimony. Yeah. I lost y'all then. How many of you want to be more than conquerors? Right. Paul said we're more than conquerors. Yeah, I want every blessing God has in store for me. I want every strong. I asked the Lord when I came in here at 8 o'clock, 8.30 this morning. I said, Lord, tear down every stronghold. Yeah. From the pulpit to the back door to the side doors and the front door. Tear it down. Destroy you get here. Every hindrance spirit is going to hinder the ministry. Come on. I love it. I love it, yeah. I love it that I love it that if you take me tonight. Well, well. I know my soul is all right. Yeah. How can you say that, Pastor B? Because I know the man that created my soul. That's right. Come on. I might not get there with you, but I'm coming. I got to mention. Yeah. And it was promised to me in his word. Yeah. But I do, I take God's word. I said, your word says, uh -huh. in your house, he said, hey, you are going away to prepare a place for me. In your house, there are many mentioned. I, I, I one of them are mine. What am I? I don't care where, it ain't got to be up front, ain't got to, I don't care the way out back. I, one of those mentioned is mine. Yeah. yeah. You say, if I be faithful unto death, yes. you're going to give me a crown of life. Yes, you say, the word said, John, the ever recorded it for me to read it. I'm reading it back to you. Your word yes. said, if I'm faithful, uh -huh. you will give me a crown. Yes. That's what I tell you. That's how me and God talk. Yes. The word said, Daddy said, we have been made do it for a night. Joy will come in the morning. Yes. I won't trouble to check up out of here. Yes. I want my joy. I want my joy. Yes, sir. Bring joy. Yeah. Peace with all men. Uh -huh. Holiness without no man can see it all. I said, give me peace with all men. Give me peace with my enemy. Yeah. Give me peace with those that have prosecuted me. Those yeah. that are falsely misused me. Yeah. Those that abuse me. Those that are criticized. Yeah. Those that are talking about me yeah. behind my back. Yeah. Give me peace with them. Yeah. Yeah. Give me peace. Give me peace. The word said I can have. Yeah. Your word.
mercy. Then when I leave here, I got to mention. Yeah. I won't mind. Because the word is saying. Yes, sir. How much do you love him? I ain't gonna ask y'all for no money. How much do you love him? Come on, time. I ain't supposed to be asking y'all for money no way. Come on, that's right. That's something I don't need to be doing, but sometimes I have to come down just to do this. Come on. Look ahead. How much do you love him? Do you love him enough to give him glory? Come on. Do you love him enough to magnify his name? Yes, sir. Do you love him enough to be a witness to others for him? Come on. Yes, Do you love him enough that you would tell somebody that Christ lives? Uh -huh. And Christ lives in you? Will you, do you love him enough and let the world see Christ in you? That Christ is the head of your life? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Do you love him enough that you, when you see folk, you can tell folk that, hey, I've been born again. I know I'm a child of the king, baby. Yeah. You can be a child of the king. I don't care where you've been in life. I know you've been in life. Hey, I know a man that can forgive you of your sin. I know a man that died and purchased your sin. I know a man that if you love him and just to make one step, he'll make two to meet you. I know somebody that when you die,
know this man. Anybody can call his name. He did trouble. He must have been in the Yeah. With the cross 
show that I called on his name and he came to see you. Came to my rescue. I've been blessed going in, blessed coming out. Sometimes burning the head, sometimes I can't see my way, but I'm still blessed because that same man, man named Jesus is still on the throne, sitting on the right hand of the Father, making proposition for you, 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 you and I. Do y'all know this man? Jesus.